This summer when we went to Belize, my family and I spent one day going to visit some Mayan ruins. So we started off on this boat to get another boat, to get another boat, to get a car. And eventually we ended up at the Mayan ruins of Zanantanich where we started to learn about the Mayan history. This guy right here, I don't remember his name, but he was teaching us. And he was telling us about the history, which he actually experienced because his parents were part of the Mayan civilization and grandparents and on and on. So we walked up and he started telling us about how they used this land. This was like the holy land where they had religious festivals and people would um, gather here only for special occasions. And that building up there was only for the special super religious elite who were separated from everybody else. And here we went back and we saw where they would play games. And, you know, I think they played some sort of basketball here and they would be spectators on the side, but generally they would live their high lifestyle while down in the valley, the people that actually would harvest the food and the resources to make all this happen were kind of faced with um, dealing with how to get all that going. But we eventually made it up to that side I showed you before and we had to climb up all these stairs and when I was out of breath at the top, it was beautiful. Um, we could look around and you could actually see into Guatemala um, from Belize and you could see um, like just the prettiest views. But what struck me about this place was that this is a religious monument and only the religious elite and like the bigwigs of the like whole civilization could ever enter here. It was against the rules for common folk to go up there. And now here we are years later, just able to walk up there and do whatever we wanted. So we walked a little further and we got to see out even, I mean, like it was kind of scary actually, to be honest, I didn't want to step over the edge, but I just kept thinking about this. We don't really have places like this anymore that are so religious, but here we are standing on the top of a place of religious importance and we're just taking selfies hanging out just being really irreverent but i guess we don't really have those places these days so that kind of society doesn't exist but what if our society crumbles one day because we overuse our resources like the mayans did and what if we're left with these things that used to hold so much meaning for us but where is that meaning now like somebody might be doing the equivalent of taking selfie on the top of a religious monument to something that we love and we value right now. And there's just no way of telling. But other than that, I just, I don't know. It's pretty interesting to think about that they used to worship gods right here, but we enjoyed it. And irreverence aside, it was a beautiful way to look back at history, even though I don't know a lot about history. So go Mayans.